Good morning. I owe you guys some videos and I'm going to film them all today so that I can disperse them all throughout the rest of November. By the time that I'm done posting them, it'll probably be time for December's empties. So here we are with October's Bath and Body Works empties. <laughs> the first thing I have is Open Sky and Open Sky, um, I'm not going to read the notes because unless it like pertains to my little review, I wouldn't buy this again. And I kind of I had heard all the reviews about Open Sky and I knew people didn't like it and I didn't understand why on, I was going to say cold sniff, but on my initial, my initial, it's early, on my initial sniff. But the sour that everyone is talking about, I believe is the wild blackberries. Um, and it takes over, it really does. And this does smell very similar to the body spray that was like sorbet that I purchased from SAS. I cannot remember the name of it, but it does, it has that same blackberry note, which is probably why it smells similar to most people, but I wouldn't repurchase this again. I already have a similar smelling body spray. I don't terribly love their blackberry note. Oh, yeah. The next thing I have is Happy Halloween, and I did finish that in October, so I was really proud of that. I'm gonna hold that close, because look at that. Um, this was Vampire Blood. Yeah, the scent Vampire Blood it has strawberry in it, and this was one of the few strawberries I do like from Bath Body Works. So if it comes back around next year during Halloween, I would purchase it again Oop. in small form. Because I, I actually I might purchase it in a big one and just use it the whole month. But yeah, I really did enjoy that. This is two a two pack of Aloha Kiwi Passion Fruit. And now I believe I only used one this month, but I had kept it in the box. So uh, this is always a repurchase. This smells so good in every form uh when are we getting body care like this and in the bathroom it smells so good like it's not seasonal so for october i kind of just was doing my own thing i don't really love sweet sugary scents in the bathroom and i love fall sweet sugary scents i know who am i but i don't know something about even pumpkin apple in the bathroom doesn't i don't know i don't know I finished a Zen Garden. This one was one of my favorite and it was my last moisturizing body wash from this aromatherapy line. I was gonna try to read what type of aromatherapy line, but it was so good and I hope they continue to make things with mimosa. So I think the mimosa and pink pepper together made this really good, but this was hoard worthy for me. I did have about five or six of these because of SAS, two SAS's ago, I wanna say. The next thing I have is Crisp Morning Air. This is the Crisp Morning Air with Juniper and Pine. It's not the one that smells like men's cologne. I really, really, really love this scent and I purchased anything in this scent. This is definitely my like one of my fall go-to scents from Bath & Body Works. And again, that's Crisp Morning Air. I love the name too. It really makes you think fall. It puts you in the mindset of fall. The next thing I have is an avocado oil from the Wellness Collection. There you go. And this, my husband helped me use, but this smelled like the most generic body wash scent. So disappointing, honestly. And I think I bought this on buy three, get three. So I was, I didn't even get this SAS. I don't think these have gone to SAS yet, have they? This was so disappointing. That's, no, I would not buy that again. The next thing I have is all about fall, y'all. And it's Cozy Vanilla Cream. Love this scent. I cannot stop purchasing this scent. This white pumpkin was from either last year or two years ago. And I love the saying because I'm from the South. And then on top of that, the cute little pumpkin like was so trendy. I mean, white pumpkins are still pretty trendy. Uh, I think we're moving towards like colorful, muted color pumpkins. But at this point, white pumpkins were the thing. So love that. And I would repurchase the scent. I don't think you'd get that packaging <laughs> again. I have a sweet cinnamon pumpkin and hand sanitizer. Not my favorite. I just love getting a five pack of hand sanitizer. If I'm not buying anything else from Bath Body Works, I'm always buying the five pack of hand sanitizer. I just love their pack of pocket bags. I think they're a really good, I've called it something before. I think they're like a really good set, the pocket bag and the pocket bag holder because it's just so easy on the go. The next thing I have is Pretty as a Peach, and I just finished this off. I had like this much left from when I had previously traveled. Pretty as a Peach is good, but nothing I'd reach for without SAS. And I honestly feel like that's where I got this miniature size was during SAS. 
Then I have sea salt therapy, and this was the mimosa spearmint. Honestly, this smell was really good. I would not be mad if they repackaged this. Um, and it came in a candle. I wonder if the single wick is still available because yes, I love that. I wonder if it has, oh, oh my gosh. It's because of the mimosa. <laughs> okay. I'm like, wait, I pretty much just love everything mimosa guys. So there's that explanation. Would I purchase this again? Yes. I don't believe, I don't know when I got this. That's a good question. But would I purchase it? I would purchase that buy three, get three. I would, I would. The next thing I have, I also just finished up from my travel bag, was Hibiscus Paradise. I was surprised. This was my first time using one of like the five Hibiscus Paradises I got at, during SAS um, for like a dollar and some change. I was shocked to find that there was a slight powdery smell. Um, I'm also in the middle of using the body spray. I don't believe I used it up, but I'm in the middle of using the body spray and I wouldn't repurchase and I'm kind of glad I didn't pick up the perfume something told me not to until I smelled it but yeah I wouldn't repurchase that unless it was SAS because that does make a really good these make really 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 great travel items but outside of that no you guys a huge regret of mine Wicked Vanilla Woods I finished this finished this I could not put this down in October like honestly it started late September when I couldn't put this down the notes are magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. And I don't understand. This was an online exclusive. This was, it went away at some point, and then like they redropped part of the line. This was so good, and I'm so regretful. This is very, very highly likely a Mercari purchase for me. Um, I hate it. I hate it though. I hate that it is, but I do need two of these. I need a backup, and I would like to continue to spray this the rest of the year. It's so good. I'm so frustrated with myself for not picking up more. Um, and I'm kind of frustrated with Bath & Body Works for not at least doing these two in store. The Happy Halloween set. and Because they kind of it matches, right? Um, in addition to that, what if someone didn't want a berry set? Then they could have put this out in travel size. <sighs> Don't get me started. Because that made no sense to me. Okay. Then I finished a miniature bonfire bash and decided, you guys, I don't know when this happened but this is a sugary smell I can do I'm sorry about that y'all <laughs> I like bonfire bash and I never thought I would say that because I've tried it before and I must have tried it during my anti-sweet sugary scent phase but I can do this it's not too much and I kind of love it so I tried I tried it I gave it a little try this year with my miniature but next year I'm getting a large size I don't find this packaging to be like something that really calls to me so this won't be the one that I keep a backup of unless SAS all hands off all statements made throughout the duration of this video <laughs> can be voided by a semi-annual sale let's put it that way that's a little disclaimer I'm gonna make on the end of my empties every single time so this is fresh rainfall ew it was so <laughs> I call it pollen-y the, the way this smells. It was so pollen-y, you guys. I don't understand this. <sighs> yeah, I don't. There's some, sometimes when I have pocket bags, I am, I don't want to say embarrassed, but sometimes I'm embarrassed to put them on in public. I just don't want to knock people out. And this is one of those. It's just strong and pollen -y. And I was like, please, nobody say anything about this hand sanitizer. It's just hand sanitizer. I have to do it like for my sanity and for health reasons. But this is champagne, apple, and honey. It was okay, it was better than I expected, but still nothing I would repurchase on purpose. And then I finished a sweater weather, always, always and forever, any of the sweater weather. There's just certain scents that come out at Bath Body Works that I'm just gonna purchase because I love them forever, like forever. But keep in mind, I thought that about champagne toast and champagne toast got old real quick but they do constantly repackage champagne toast every season so can't do that with sweater weather or they have yet to do that with sweater weather and i think that's why i continue to love it and then i the next i think this is the last pocket bag i have yeah the last pocket bag i have is pumpkin cupcake um in a pocket bag no um, I am slowly falling in love with home care from Bath and Body Works. So I really, really like this. Um, 
and I think what helped is at this point when I was using this pocket bag I was using some vendor wax that was Bath Body Works pumping cupcake type I was using the body wash that was Bath Body Works pumpkin cupcake type like I was going in on the pumpkin cupcake and I really enjoyed where I was at in the season with this trio happening so I do like it I just don't know if I'd reach for it again unless the packaging was like super cute the next thing I have is kind of a shocker to me you guys can you see that this thing dudded out on me I need to find the date that this was purchased but it definitely was this year um that makes me nervous because I candidly have been using this on high since received so maybe that's that 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 would be the reason but I did redeem I have been redeeming my rewards for these because I love them so much but for them to not last a year you guys I'm hoping this one is a dud but I will let you know because the other one I only have one going right now the other one is going on high and it's been going on high since I received it I feel less bad about it because it was received for free let me tell you that I'm just being honest but that's bad I, I recognize that it is bad it's not okay for it to only last less than a year because the typical I don't know about you but my typical um wallflower plugs they last at least two years uh before they start dudding out and I realized that they probably shouldn't even do that like but I use them constantly so I don't give them a break there's no like pulling them up except that they're seasonal decorations but that's about it so yeah I felt really weird about that and again I'm in a headspace where I don't feel terrible about it because they've been free so far but I think moving forward I am just gonna go and redeem the rest of my rewards for those because I do like the product and I hate to mislead people like that but you see how that's how free items can you know but I personally will be continuing to get those just keep that in mind I hope everybody watches this I might put a disclaimer if I haul another one okay so this is sunflower and zest and it's huntington home you guys this was beautiful on my mantle um i only was able to purchase one but if next year it comes out again i'll purchase again i did notice that the christmas candles that came out this year came out were the same scents that came out last year except this year they came out not only in the three wick they came out in a single wick and they came out in the wax scents so I'm like, Aldi, you are learning. Look at you learning in a year. They learned that much. Okay, I was pretty proud of that. So there are no notes for this sunflower and zest. But the scent was okay. It was actually pretty light. You could smell it when you walked in the room, but it was very vague. Um, it was kind of like, what's that? That's um, I, lit I literally had that moment when this was burning. I was <laughs> like, what is that? What's that smell? But I couldn't identify it as it's that candle over there or it is a candle or nothing like it took me a minute to realize oh that candle is spring which I kind of don't like because I like to know for sure that a candle is burning because that makes me think I could leave it on if I'm not 100% aware or can't because if you burn candles during the daytime I personally can can't see them um so if I can't see them and I vaguely smell them, I might leave it on, you know, like it's very possible. So this is lemon lavender shortbread and I did have to hot dump this at least once. I am going to carve out the rest of that wax to get it out. And yes, I do have backups of this now because I purchased the backups that came out this fall. I have every intention of continuing to purchase that candle or this candle during candle day. I have made my candle day list. So if you guys want to hear that, I can share that with you. But this candle is literally the hands down best candle my favorite candle from Beth's Body Works. I'm not kidding. So this is Lemon Lavender Shortbread. <sighs> it's so good. It's I'm, every time I say this, but I genuinely mean it smells like a high end bakery product. This is no like in the case at, it's just, it tastes high end. It, I mean, it tastes, whew, it smells high end. My brain and my tongue are like, my nose and my tongue are like, I can smell it. It feels so real. But yeah, the next thing I have is, okay, why is there broken glass? Oh no, this candle broke. Okay, I need to throw this away like immediately. Okay. So real quick, because I didn't even realize this broke, um, is banana butt cake. It's broken on the corner, if you can see that. 
like there's no glass right there because it fell inward thank goodness um but this is banana bundt cake i'm not gonna smell it it's super strong it's really really good for fall i loved the yellow tones if you could tell i had three candles with yellow on them on my mantle with the orange and it looks really good also i love the decor on this one the little bundt cakes with the bananas this was one of my favorite designs and kind of wish this would come back around or something like this but this was like two years ago and I do, I have repurchased more since. They didn't come out with very many of these this past year. And I don't know if they're trying to phase it out. But I kind of just don't get why people like this one less than Banana Walnut Muffin. This one is really good. But okay, I'm going to put it down because I'm like super nervous. I don't want, uh, I'm actually probably going to toss this whole bin that it's in. It is a Dollar Tree bin and it's starting to collapse anyways. But I don't want a chance that any of the... I was gonna say glue any of the glass got out and uh maybe had an issue with this so i'm gonna put this right back in this bin and then i'm going to toss oh yeah i see a little shard okay yeah so this whole thing is getting tossed after this because again it's a dollar tree bin that i've had for over a year so this is i think we're down to the wallflowers and then i have one last single way <laughs> it's a long video this is man i cannot see the writing It smells like raspberry, was it Sunkiss Raspberry? Sunkiss Raspberry, I didn't love. It was really powdery. And for that reason, no thank you. Um, I got most of these during the SAS at the end when they went 175. I just went crazy and got one of everything, if not two of everything. So this is Marshmallow Fireside. Very great in my office. Love that. Would repurchase anything Marshmallow Fireside. This is... It's weird because some of them have numbers on the other side. This is something pine. Oh, pineapple. Yeah, this was the pineapple scent. Also kind of powdery, didn't love it. And then here we have lemon, mint leaf, always a favorite. I had it in the bathroom and then I thought I should have waited to put this in the bathroom for Thanksgiving. We are having people over and this would have been a perfect like refreshing zing to the nose because I do I'm gonna have some fall scents going <laughs> and here's the tag for the sun ripened it's it was sun ripened raspberry but this is the one that I said was too powdery um there's no reason it should have been powdery because the notes are sweet berries sheer sunlight and sugar crystals so it had to be the powdery sunlight and then the oh Oh, one of those was Brazilian Waters because I have the tag for that here, which I also didn't love. It was a little cologne. Um, the last but not least is another one of my pistachio ice cream. Love it. Love it. Love it. Would repurchase 100%. Can't believe this didn't come out in three wig. Really, really, really. I tried to single-handedly prove to them that we need this in a three wig by purchasing way too many of them. <laughs> so hopefully they heard my cries and we'll get that next year. All right, guys, <laughs> like, comment, subscribe for more content like this and have a great day.